This video explores what attribution is, and the source of this is from the Psi234 course from Macquarie University regarding social psychology. To begin with, attribution is the process where we make inferences about causes of behavior and events. Haider stated that humans were naive scientists in which people were scientific-like, and this was irresistible in that one cannot stop making intentions or stop thinking about the intentions of others. And from a teleological explanation in which we believe intuition or meaning is behind an action or every action. And thus, as a result, we want to predict and control, hence being a naive scientist. Things to consider about attribution include internal attributions, which assign causes of one's own or others' behavior to dispositional factors, while external attributions is to assign causes of own or others' behavior to situational or environmental factors. Misattribution is to assign a cause to an incorrect source. So for example, to attribute a behavior to an internal source when it is not the case, when it has actually nothing to do with explaining the behavior. In addition, the looking glass effect is a self-derived perception in which we see ourselves in how others see us. The collective self, according to Wundt, was proposed to be a group mind in which the self and the group are distinct, have a distinction. Correspondent inference, which was proposed by Jones and Davies in 1965, is an inference that behavior corresponds to stable personal characteristics. We have a preference for this since it allows us to predict behavior and gives us a sense of control. So for example, we might state that a certain group of people behave in a certain way because of their because of a certain disposition. So it does kind of link very closely to a stereotype. Kelly proposed the covariation model in which individuals assign causes to behaviors that co-vary with other behaviors. This covariation principle is made up of CDC, consensus, distinctiveness, and consistency. Consensus is the extent which other people react in the same way towards a certain stimulus. Distinctiveness is whether people's reactions occur only with one or many stimuli, so whether they generalize it to a certain event or many other events. And finally, there is consistency, which is the extent to which behavior co-occurs with a stimulus. Discounting occurs if there is no consistent relationship between uh, attribution and behavior. Thus, the cause becomes disregarded. Wiener, in 1979, proposed that performance attributions were brought about from three types of information uh, attribution making, which he coined in the acronym LSC, or Locus, Stability, and Controllability. Locus is to do with performance caused by the actor, internal, or the situation, external. So it could either derive from an internal locus of control or external locus of control. Or internal locus or external locus. Stability is whether the cause is stable or unstable, whether it is consistent, whether it occurs all the time. And finally, there is controllability, which is the extent of future task performance under the actor's control. Moving along, fundamental attribution errors are when individuals make internal attributions over external attributions in explaining behavior. Jones and Harris in 1967 showed participants the Castro speech, whereby participants read pro or anti-Castro speeches and they chose freely or were forced to take a side and were divided into a further two groups where the, in which one group chose freely and the other was forced to take a side. Those who were forced to take a side continued to believe even when they had not freely chosen. Thus, this is an attribution error. Frank and Giolovic in 1989 discovered the actor-observer effect in which individuals attribute their own behaviors externally and others internally. So they would blame their behaviors on the situation at hand while they would attribute the behaviors of others as being embedded within their own 
certain disposition. Being a part of them, Taylor and Fisk. In 1975, found that perceptual salience occurs in which observers saw only faces of one actor but not others, and thus relating more to the to the actor whose face was facing them. They received informational differences in which actors have extensive knowledge about how they have behaved in different situations, but observers do not. So, in summary, in this video, we looked at attribution. Hyder's naive scientists, internal and external attributions, as well as misattributions, correspondent inference, co-variation model by Kelly, such as consensus distinctiveness and consistency, or CDC. We also looked at Wiener's information in attribution making, such as the LSC, locus, stability, and controllability. In addition, we discussed fundamental attribution errors, Castro's speech experiment by Jones and Harris in 1967, and the actor-observer effect by Frank and Gilovic in 1989, as well as perceptual saliency and informational differences by Taylor and Fisk in 1975. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check my next video on the social self and how we perceive ourselves in relation to others. So yeah, thanks for watching.